Sometime back in October of 2023, I had a video about uh, an old Dell laptop with an IDE hard drive. It was two parts. Long series had to replace the hard drive because it was failing. I had a replacement. I got it done. I've been using that since. But in testing and something that I did to get things working for that, I had to borrow the power adapter I had for this hard drive. And then when I put it back in service, it didn't work anymore. And I'd like to have the data that's on here, if it's at all possible. But I don't know that that's necessarily a possibility. Uh... I think in the second part of that, I had just looked over and said, wait a minute, I have another power supply, and I use that, and it's been working until the other day when the drive was no longer showing up on my machine, and I said, oh crap, not good, because I was actually going to copy data to this. I don't use this drive for anything, but some data I don't really access terribly often. Uh, this is a Western defective drive. Uh, it's still pretty new, you know, the way stuff that the stuff that I use goes. It's 640 megabytes, kind of an odd size, because you had when you got into this stuff, you had the the 250s, 500s, 750s, but there were a couple of oddballs like the 640 gig and the 320 gig drives that were out there before you got up to the one terabyte drives. Date on this drive is 26 July 2009. So like I said, pretty new, still only 15 years old. Pretty new. I had tested that power adapter with a drive I believe to be good but don't know for certain, and it did not spin that drive up either. So I said, okay, I'm tired of leaving this drive just sitting there, because this it was literally just sitting there on the floor like that with one of those USB to SATA adapters and a separate power thing and like that. I said, I've always wanted an enclosure for this, so... Now I'm going to have to go and get one because I want to get data on this drive and I have no other power adapters at this point. So we're going to see if we can install this drive into this enclosure simply using two different screwdrivers, one being a number two Phillips and the other being a number one Phillips. Um, I may have one of these enclosures already. I don't remember how it goes together because it's been way too many years and way too many beers. This is a Vantech Nexstar TX. Vantech has been around, used to sell these at Tiny Middle. They weren't as chintzy as they are today. Here we are here. Enclosure. Let's see about the goodies. Power adapter. I'm not fond of adapters like these that are only 12 volts and then it derives the five inside the enclosure with the circuitry in there, but that's all the crap they sell today. It's got a little stand for it right there. Oh, they even give you a screwdriver. I'm not gonna need that. Uh, rubber pad and some screws and some more screws, that might be important. USB 3 cable and an installation guide. Who needs that? All right. Put that aside, get that out of here. This one comes off. And let's see. Oh, that broke already. That's good. Let's see if the old computer dick can figure out how the fuck this goes. Well, considering it kind of made itself evident shouldn't be too bad. There's the Sater connector right there. So it is uh, absolutely oblivious that the drive just goes in and plugs in like that. So we're going to cut to the chase right here and 
power it because if it doesn't spin up the drive, there's absolutely no sense in my continuing. I, I don't think this uh, enclosure or anything requires that you have USB hooked up in order to have the drive spin up. I do have an enclosure that may have such a function. One that I have actually spins the drive down after a period of time and it was actually a tiny middle house brand. I, I can't get that kind anymore. So that's kind of a shame because I kind of like that. The less hours on the drive, the better. Switches in the off position. Power. Oh yeah. Red light. Now, I don't know if you can hear. I'm going to spin it up again. See if you can hear right when I click the switch. It kind of makes like a sound. So that sound is sort of like a torque start or something. I don't know what they call it precisely. I have seen some older drives that have the same starting mechanism or whatever they use for that where the platters are stuck and it'll try to, you know, kind of get it moving a bit and then kick it into high gear and spin up to speed. But, um, Sometimes the platters will stick due to stiction, and these drives actually have some other, it can tell, it knows when there's a problem, and won't spin the drive up, and when that happens, you will hear the drive make an atrocious sound, it's like a kind of sound, I, I don't know how to explain it, and that sort of like really wrenches on them to get them to turn. Um, yeah, so we got holes there, none on the bottom, and holes there. Let's see about the screwballs. What we got? They give you three. No, nope, four. There is a fourth, yes. There, there's a fourth. Goody! So it should be as easy... That's putting these screws in. I'm going to leave them just slightly loose. Instead of speeding this up and wasting your time, I'll just put the fucking screws in. Okay, screws are in on each side. Ready to go. It appears there is a rail right there. There's a groove right there, so this ought to be real difficult. Kind of do one of those, put that in, blump, faceplate for the back, so let's see, obviously power switch is there, so it must go this way, All right, so we'll put that on, and two more screws to close the enclose, your Sort of run them backwards first, and there we go. How they want you to do this with that crappy screwdriver they give you is a good question. But I guess if you got nothing else, okay, nice. Tighten this guy back up, if I can get in there, there we go. This side needs just a little more. I don't want to go too far with it. That's perfect. There we go. It's got some rubber foots.
We'll stick those on on this side. About there is good. That's fine there. And that's good. So now it has foots like that, or it's got a stand like that, which I'll probably use. So that's good. I like it's got a red light on it. Now I can actually see it blink and do things. If it does, I don't even know. It might just be a power light and they fail on everything else. All right, I'll get something to see if it does it work. I don't know. Yeah, XP is going to get the job done just fine. Just perfectly fine. Let me see if I come around the other side of the camera. There we go. We're going to plug cables in. One there. Another one there. Put the drive. Turn it on. Let it spin up. That should be fine. Find a USB port. It's got one here. Here it is. All right. Let's see if it comes up. Oh, it blinks the light on the drive. It blinks the light on the drive. That's not the happiest blink I've ever seen. But it may be because it's trying to cat communicate. Cat communicate. The light went out. It's blinking again. Disk drive. Found new hardware. It's ready for use. Oh! The light is a dim green. That is interesting. I don't know if you can see that. It's a dim green. Will XP read the drive is another question. My computer. There's a new volume D. Hey, there's all my shit. Yeah, I love that kind. Now, just for shits and grins, what if I copy that? We get just a sad, blinky red light. It just blinks it. It doesn't flicker it like it's supposed to. But, hey, at least it's something. So it's going. We'll see what happens when it finishes. Success! It worked. It just blinks it red when it's accessing and a dull, dim green when it's not. But okay, it worked. Whoop. I don't need that. I can empty that out. Oh. See, now I got blangs. But anyway, that's it. Successful. It was just another failed power supply for that drive. Those things are ancient that I had, so it's not that big of a surprise. But now, fortunately, it's back up and running. 
just have to fish all the cables through, get it set back up where it needs to be, and that is going to wrap that up. So that's going to do it. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.